Hello everyone. I continue to look forward to connecting with you as we navigate the challenges of the COVID-19 outbreak. Today's message will be brief, but as I stressed last week, it is important to stay connected. Residence Hall phased move out began this week and we received many positive comments from our parents and students. Our housing staff prepared a robust plan which follows CDC and South Dakota Department of Health guidelines. Please know that the health of our students and staff are our highest priority. I also want you to know that if you have concerns with your move out time, other options are available for students to gather their belongings at later dates. I encourage you to remain in contact with our great staff in housing regarding any questions or concerns you may have. We continue to advocate for academic success. One prominent question from students and faculty is grading. Grading alternatives are being explored and final decisions will be defined and communicated in the very near future. Our help desk staff continues to work with faculty, staff, and students to ensure their academic and employment successes. Over the course of a week, they answered over 500 questions and calls on a variety of topics ranging from password resets to software issues. Along with the help desk, our purchasing and property management team assisted with purchasing equipment in support of remote work and online classes. Our admissions office has been working diligently the past two weeks from their new normal, trying everything they can to stay in front of our admitted and prospective students. Our recruitment staff coordinates daily outreach to students via phone, email, and text messaging, offering support on the next steps and concerns students may have. Admission staff have also created several virtual visit and connection opportunities for our students and families. Prospective students and parents, as well as others interested in our current recruitment work, should visit our admissions site on sdstate.edu. Virtual programming has been developed in a multitude of areas for students to engage in new and different ways. Check out our social media and Jack's Club Hub for up-to-date information on programs and activities you can join virtually with your jackrabbit friends. The Wellness Center is dedicated to keep you healthy in mind, body, and spirit during this time of social distancing and uncertainty. Through our social media platforms, we are providing daily workouts, tips to keep your children active, as well as nutritious meals you can make at home. Career Development is continuing to provide its services to students virtually using its online tool, Handshake. Students may submit their resumes and cover letters for review, as well as discuss interview preparation, job and internship searches, and any other career-related topics. In addition, employers are still reaching out and they are encouraged to post their open positions on Handshake, so check out the updated job postings daily. University Program Council, Stateathon, Greek Life, Multicultural Affairs, and the American Indian Student Center will be mobilizing virtual events and virtual office hours and marketing these to students using social media, Jack's Club Hub, and other student outreach methods. It's important to note the success of our staff and students during this time. I want to draw attention to a few news stories and initiatives that were released over this past week. SDSU announced the launch of two new dual credit scholarship programs for South Dakota high school students, including one for low-income students. The Jackrabbit Access College Early Scholarship, or ACES, will be available to qualified high school juniors and seniors from low-income families this fall. The Jackrabbit Journey Scholarship will provide financial assistance to all students who enroll at SDSU after earning high school dual credits from SDSU. Late last week, we received the incredible news that one of our students has been selected as a 2020 Goldwater Scholar. Timothy Paris is a junior chemistry major and was selected from a pool of more than 5,000 nominees nationwide. Congratulations, Tim. 
The Goldwater Scholarship is awarded to college students showing the greatest capacity and research aptitude in the country. This award is a testament to the quality of research, innovation, and mentorship offered on our campus, which is producing some of the nation's best and brightest future scientists. SDSU researchers have organized a COVID-19 research working group facilitated by Dr. Adam Hoppe. The working group is developing multidisciplinary research solutions to the current pandemic and its consequences. A team of campus professionals has formed a Support Our Students group, or SOS, in response to ongoing changes in education and lifestyle during this pandemic. Their mission is to visit regularly to discuss updates on the needs and concerns of our students. They share information and ongoing initiatives to enhance the reach of ongoing efforts and to reduce redundant efforts. Lastly, they generate new ideas and actions that will directly support our students. If you are interested in this program, please contact Dr. Becky Bot Knudsen at 688-4860. Last, we are grateful for the concern being shown for our students. The SDSU Foundation and the Division of Student Affairs created a student emergency fund. Through the online platform Rabbit Raisers, nearly 90 donors have provided $16,000 to help students in need. Fundraising for this program is ongoing, and if you'd like to help, please contact the SDSU Foundation at 697-7475. In the U.S., both the number of COVID cases and deaths are increasing exponentially. An epidemiologist on our campus continues to plot the number of daily diagnosed cases. Her data, along with data put forth by the CDC and the South Dakota Department of Health, continues to show that nationally the curve has not begun to flatten out. The number of cases in South Dakota continues to increase, as does the number of counties where a case with community spread has been identified. Social distancing and good hygiene continue to be the most effective measures to prevent the spread of this virus. If more than 1% of South Dakota's population develops COVID-19 over a short period of time, it could overwhelm the healthcare system within our state. Modeling shows that up to 30% of South Dakotans could become infected. We must slow the spread of COVID-19. Please be diligent in your efforts and stress the importance to those around you. South Dakota State University has accomplished many, many amazing things during this pandemic. The decisions we've made and processes we've put in place have proven to be sound and effective. However, given the predictions, we have some very sobering times ahead. Let's commit to each other to remain aggressive with the virus, but patient and helpful with one another. Thank you for your continued commitment to excellence in everything we do, as well as your support of SDSU.